What is the Goiania incident? Do you care? Yes, you do. Let me tell you why. The tragic Goiania incident represents one of the worst radioactive disasters in history. However, this is not a result of a power plant melting down or an earthquake destroying a facility, but rather a sad case of neglect and insufficient precautions. I am joined by my brother to speak about this somber topic. Good to have you with me. No, no, thank you. Let's begin with a bit of backstory. The IGR was a private radiotherapy institute in Goiânia, Brazil. It moved to a new premise in 1985 and left behind a cesium-137 based teletherapy unit that had been purchased in 1977. The following year, police prevented the owners of IGR from removing any objects that were left behind due to a property dispute. Unfortunately, on September 13th, Roberto dos Santos Alves and Wagner Mota Pereira illegally entered the facility. The teletherapy unit looked valuable, so they stripped it and brought the pieces home in a wheelbarrow. It is important to note that the radioactive material was stored in a stainless steel canister lined with lead that could not be disassembled without highly specialized tools. However, after bringing it back into their home, the two thieves managed to puncture the lens on the casing and noticed a strange blue glow coming from within. Spoiler. That's bad. It is around this time that they began to exhibit a strange illness that was incorrectly diagnosed as food poisoning. We now know it was a severe radiation poisoning. Still thinking that the shiny canister was valuable, Alves sold it to a nearby scrapyard. That night, the owner noticed the blue glow and brought it into his home, thinking that it might be supernatural. Over the course of the next few days, he invited many friends and family specifically to view the strange glowing capsule. Then on September 21st, someone managed to scrape several rice-sized grains of the glowing cesium from the capsule using a screwdriver. Sadly, no one ever suspected what the material could possibly be, and the strange blue powder was passed around to many people where they rubbed it on their skin and used it as glitter. The local health authorities were stumped as to why there were suddenly so many victims of a strange new disease. It wasn't until the wife of the scrapyard owner brought the pieces of the machine into a health clinic when a local doctor began to suspect radiation poisoning. On September 29th, he convinced local authorities to test for radiation, and as soon as testing began, the gravity of the situation became crystal clear. Local and national governments were all aware of the incident by the end of the day. All told, four fatalities were reported, 20 people required treatment, 250 were contaminated, and over 130,000 people had to be tested. Well, it looks like I am out of- That's my lie! Oh. Well, sorry about that. Well, it looks like I am out of time. If I had more time, I would tell you interesting things about the Goiania incident, like... In world history, it is widely considered to be the fourth or fifth worst nuclear disaster ever. Now it's your turn. Do you have a good idea for a topic? Let me know in the comments. I promise I read every one. Cheerio what what. Till next time for destructive creativity. I am the narrator.